Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Today, something a little bit different. You know, I've, I've spent a lot of energy over the years with this YouTube channel telling people, get yourself a full-sized antenna for HF. Uh, it'll, it'll work really well for you in the field, particularly with low power. Having said that, I'm also a fan of unusual antennas. And that's the subject of today's video, one of these. And the one in question is the Diamond HF V5. Now, what this antenna is essentially is a dipole, a shortened dipole that covers 40 meters, 20 meters, 15 meters, 10 meters, even 6 meters. It's not designed for operation on the other bands, it's a shortened dipole and I was fascinated by it. I happened to, I didn't buy this new, it wasn't sent to me by Diamond, Diamond doesn't even know I exist. I happened to see one in really good condition for sale on a local ham radio swap meet and I, 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 made the, I pulled the trigger and, and I picked it up and I'm really interested to see how it's going to perform. A further note on this antenna, although this is a Diamond product, it seems to me that MFJ sold one of similar configuration, maybe even the same product, I don't know. Uh, Comet, I think, may have had one at some point as well. So when I get it all put together and show it to you, you may recognize it from having looked at similar antennas from other companies. Let's get this out of the package and see what we're dealing with. Here is the antenna laid out as, uh, as, as coming out of the bag. Uh, the one thing that I will tell you about is this unit right here. This is the feed point. Uh, this has been assembled and therefore does not fit back into the bag. They use nuts and bolts. This is, this is a very serious product. It's good hardware. It's solid hardware. I could see putting this thing outdoors and setting it up permanently. And I've read reviews on this product which indicate that it's perfectly happy doing so. By the way, this seems to, and you'll see it when, when it gets built, it's going to be something like 13 feet fully assembled. Well, this puts it with potentially within the range of people, HOAs, maybe you got a decent sized balcony that you can attach this to, uh, to a railing, uh, a, a way of getting on HF for people who have been shut out uh, when it comes to larger wire antennas. So that's a really interesting application for this antenna. These are the radiator arms. So I've got these separated by radiator. So uh, left side, right side, if you will, it doesn't matter. But there's, there's the radiator arm. This is solid. Uh, again, a, a very solid product. Uh, at the end of the radiator arm, you've got this right here. So this disc has various uh, holes in it into which each of these radiators screw and it, obviously a band specific for each of them. So it's actually a pretty simple antenna to put together. Let me spend a few minutes here putting it together. I'm going to time it and let you know how long it takes me. But uh, th let's see what this thing looks like when it's built. Here's the antenna in its assembled glory doesn't really look 13 feet long. I guess it could be. Um, but anyway, uh, just a, a quick note on weight. So this is rated for, I think it's uh, about five pounds, five pounds total weight. It's not a heavy antenna. And, and by the way, so that went together pretty darn quickly. Uh, I would say I had this together in uh, less than 10 minutes. And as you may have heard me say on this channel before, I'm slow. There's only enough receptacles for, what's that, one, two, three, four, five bands. Um, so you got to make your choice. In my case, I, I you know, I, I, I honestly don't remember the last time I was on six meters. I'm not a six meter op. I don't have a six meter antenna at home. So the fact that it's got 17 meters, uh, that, that, that's just fine for me. It increases the utility of this. And, and, and I don't know, by the way, the documentation, which is all in Japanese, curiously enough, uh, the documentation that I've seen um, doesn't indicate 17 meters at all. So maybe that's an option that Diamond sells separately. Uh, unknown, 
Uh, all I can tell you is that I got the 17 meter with the kit. Okay, it's assembled. I've got uh, a mast up here that I'm going to attach this to. We'll put some coax on it and then we'll take a look and see how this thing is, uh, is resonating on the various bands. Here's a shot of the antenna up. You know what, it didn't take me as long to erect on this 16 foot mast as I would have thought, and I'm pretty happy about that, I gotta say. The one thing you do have to be mindful of, especially if your mast is laying on the ground as you're mounting it as mine was, make sure you find a way to elevate the antenna end of the mast so that your radiators are not getting bent into the ground. Next up, analyzer. Let's start with a sweep of 40 meters. And we have, you can see it's a very narrow bandwidth. You would expect this for a compact antenna. And of course, it's the old YouTube adage. Start filming a video and the heavy machinery rolls in, so the guys have decided to start cutting the grass. Oh well, I'll do the best I can with what I have. Uh, minimum SWR, 1.09 at 7193. So clearly, if you're using it with a tuner, you could bring that into resonance, uh, extend that quite a bit. Okay, let's take a look at 20, see what's happening there. And we have a dip at 14.228, 1.05. Really good so far. All right, let's move up to 17 meters. 17 meter band. 1.25 at 18.102. And it looks like we're below two to one for a good chunk of the band there. Very nice. All right, up to 15. 15 meters. 1.05 at 21,222. It's working like a champ so far, isn't it? Okay, let's go up to 10. Okay, 1.1 to 1 at 28,192. So a little bit low on 10. Uh, and you can see the 2 to 1 SWR there. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, I could certainly tune that. I'm not going to bother today. But uh, still, well within the band, uh, getting really good SWRs at its resonant point. And those little radiators, of course, they are adjustable to the part of the band that you want them to be adjustable for. Okay, next, let's see if I can make a couple of contacts with this thing. Best laid plans of mice and men. There's my SGC 2020 sitting there, all ready to be used, all fired up, and uh, the lawn mowing crew has come. And they're very insistent that they need to mow this particular section of the park at this time. So that's all for this video. I do commit to posting a future video where I can actually show this antenna on the air. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3, TWM.